I want to explain something important about the way Meta reports EMQ details. Uh, events, match, quality, score, this number right here. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I think you know it, but uh, just a short uh, reminder, it's a score assigned to conversion API events, expressing how well Meta is able to um, match the events with a user. So if they match the event with a user, they can measure conversion and uh, importantly, they can optimize ads delivery. So everything works better with a higher EMQ score. I have a lot of videos on this channel about EMQ score, how you can improve it, how Pixel Your Site uh, helps with EMQ score. So watch those videos as well. But what I want to explain is that it's very important to have users that logged into your website, especially if they use Facebook login uh, on your website. Why is that? Let me show you. So this is a page view event, a very common event, details here and uh, event quality. And you will see that in my case, I have like 36% users, uh, uh, sorry, events have email addresses. However, it doesn't mean that only 36% of events benefit from uh, email address or from uh, having Facebook login ID. No, more events will benefit. And uh, why is that? Now, let's say I visit your website. Um, I'm an anonymous user. You have no idea what my email address is, what my Facebook login ID is, my phone number, my name, nothing. All you have is my IP address. So all the conversion API events I fire on your website at this point have an IP address. You also have something called FBP. FBP, it's a value associated with the browser, the browser that I use and is stored in cookies. It might be generated right now when I visit your website or it might be there from a, pre a previous uh, visit. So it depends. It might be a new FBP or an old FBP. An older FBP would be better, but we don't know. We have FBP. Um, what else do, do I have with my events? I also have external ID. This is a value you can send with your, ev your, with your event and will be associated with the user. Uh, Pixel Your Site generates uh, such external IDs and we try to make it uh, as persistent as possible. So uh, if you use Pixel Your Site, you will have FBP, uh, external ID and uh, IP address. Basically, that's it. I'm not coming from an ad, so I don't have uh, FBC. FBC is another value uh, related to clicks made on a Facebook or Instagram ad. So I don't have that. So right now, Meta has no idea who this guy firing event is. But let's say that at some point, I log into your website using Facebook login. This is a brilliant moment for you because right now you have my email address, you have my first name, my last name, and my Facebook login ID. So the new set of events I fire from this moment on will have all this very useful data and Meta will be able to understand who is firing this new set of events. However, because the new events have the same FBP value and the same external ID and the same IP address, they will know that the previous events belong to me as well. So yes, only let's say 10% of events have Facebook login, but Meta will associate the previous events from my session with the same login ID, Facebook login ID. So matching will work for those as well. So that's why it's so important to make your users log in at some point. It doesn't matter if it's close to the end of their session on your website, make them log in. And if they log in using Facebook login, it's even better because at this point uh, we can send conversion API events with email address, but also with Facebook login IDs. So that's um, 
the, something I wanted to explain, these numbers right here uh, on the details page of each event that you send can be misleading because even if the number is low, the effect can be bigger. So it's really important to somehow offer your users a way to log into your website so that you can send this very, very important information like the Facebook login ID or the email address. Uh, by the way, Pixel Your Site works very well with our plugin Social Connect. This plugin uh, enables social login on your website, Facebook login and Google login. So um, we can take the data from the social login uh, plugin and use it with our conversion API event. I encourage you to uh, browse our pixelyoursite.com website and look for the Social Connect plugin. Is this plugin right here. I have another video on the channel explaining how everything works, how you can configure uh, the login for Facebook, how uh, you can set up everything on the website. I will not go through all these details again. But it's important to notice that we have a solution that allows you to offer your users Facebook login and when they use it, boom, matching score, it's much better. Conversion tracking, it's much better. And this is very important, ads performance, it's much better. Because keep in mind that having a, a good set of data doesn't help only with conversion tracking, it helps with conversion optimization. Meta knows uh, when and to whom to deliver those ads and everything um, will perform better. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Pixel Your Site Professional, it's our uh, leading product, but we have other products on pixelyoursite.com, including Social Connect. Uh, we also have Constant Magic, a very uh, well-designed consent solution. So visit our website and uh, select the products that you need from there. Thank you for watching this video. Share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to our channel.